Hi. So today we're going to look at how to add uh, simple shadows uh, for a foreground CG to a recorded um, video. So right now, I have a media plate here and also a camera in sequencer. I'm going to add a new uh, composite. I'm going to call this AR. I'm going to add the media plate. Put this here. I'm going to add a CG layer. I'm going to go to the scene capture element. General show flags, just disable atmosphere. Okay. Next, we're going to go to the top layer here. Add the transform pass. Call this over. Go to your CX utility operators. Just drag over here. <clears throat> Put your media as the bottom and CG as the, as the top. So you see here. You'll have your CG on top of um, your, your um, media. Now, how do we add shadows um, on the video, um, on the media plate? So we are going to have to add a plane to capture the shadow. Okay, we're going to need to add both of these to a layer called as CG objects. Also, we're going to need to add just the plane to another layer called the CG shadow catch. Go back to your composure. You're going to rename this CD objects. You're going to set this to the camera. And also you want to have capture actors as CG objects. Then you're going to add another layer element CG called the CG shadow catcher. Set the same camera, but this time you want to set this to shadow catch. Don't forget to disable atmosphere. <clears throat> so this way we have one layer that captures everything and one layer that only captures the plane. So we want to know that um, we, we just want to get the shadows here. So the way we do that, create a layer element, all classes, compositing element, call this shadow pass, move the two layers underneath shadow pass so it, it, it will be able to access the child. Add the transform pass here. Find division. And you want to divide the objects to the catcher. Next, we want this shadow pass to be multiplied by the media. So let's create another layer element. Let's call this 
media shadow put these two underneath media shadow I'm gonna create a transform pass here with multiply we're gonna multiply media with shadow pass so this is what we get we're going to need to bring in the rest back um, we're going to add another transform pass let's use an over node media as the bottom we're going to have the pre-pass as the top and we are going to use the shadow catcher as the mask so we are going to have this back next we want a layer of just the object that we want as a foreground so go to your layer once more add the sphere to CG foreground going to need to add another CG layer element CG foreground select CG foreground here and disable atmosphere now in the very top layer change the bottom to be media shadow and the top to be CG foreground and I'm going to change this to a reflective material and I'm going to put an HDR backdrop and I capture um, my yards my backyards um, HDRI going to rotate this so it's more accurate There you have it.